Hello everyone, welcome to the next chapter that is list. So I'll be explaining the list data types in detail, how we can work on list in Python. So if you wanted to represent a group of individuals, object as a single entity, where insertion order is preserved and duplicates are allowed, then it should be list. So what is this insertion order and duplicates? For example, I can list something. This is the name of the list, like an identifier. It should start with opening braces. It can have one, two, three, four are these digits. Instead of that, you can also have A, B, one, two. See, this is only digit. This is strings and digits. So we can have a different data types inside the list. Also, this can be duplicates are there. So for example, instead of one, I can have multiple entries of the same element, right? So insertion order is preserved. So at whatever order, first element is there, that order is preserved. So that means its index will be zero. Its index will be one, two, and three, right? Duplicates are, are allowed. Heterogeneous objects are allowed. List is dynamic because based on our requirement, we can increase the size or decrease the size. So there are different methods to add or remove the elements from the list. We will see them one by one. We have seen a lot of methods in strings. Similar way, there are methods in list as well. So in list, element will be placed within the square bracket and with comma separated, right? So these are the comma separated and we, these are in the brackets. So your list also support the positive and negative index. Both positive means we are starting from this side. Negative means we are starting from this side. So that means these are on 0, 1, 2 are positive index and then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 are the negative indexes, right? So whenever somebody is asking this element 10, it is having positive index of 0 and negative index of minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and minus 6, right? So list and mutable, that is we can change the content. So in case you wanted to change the content of list, we can change it, we will see them how in the next steps. For example, what are the ways to print the list, right? So there are first thing is first is you can take the input from the user. We know like uh, we can ask the user to view the input using input function and enter the list. Whenever you are doing, you can just add one, two, three, all the element, right? And then we can use eval function to evaluate those input which we convert it into list, right? And it should see all these elements I have entered and it is converted to the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then another one is a list function. In typecasting, we have seen like int, like str, we can also convert the direct input to list. So for example, I am taking 10 elements from 0 to 9 and I am converting into the list and that list is stored in any of the variable named L and where I am printing it, I am getting an output. Here I have taken range of 0 to 10 with two steps. So all 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 until 9 will be printed. Now, for example, I have a string to convert it. We have already seen in split. We, in strings, we have s dot split. So this split function is used to convert elements inside our string as a comma separated list element. So like this, the list will be created. After that, how to access those elements? Just similar way we have seen in the string, we can access them using index. That is list of 0 is 10. In list of minus 1 is 40. Similar way by using a slice operation, seeing 2 to 7 with the steps of 2. So for example, n is release, 2 to 7 means this is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So or till 6, right? Since 7 means we will execute this in steps of 2. Means uh, we will start with 3, then 5, and then 7. So here is the output, right? Similar way, we are just taking different ranges to get our outputs. We can access the element with indexes or with a range as well, right? So after that, there are a few functions that we have seen. One is len function that we have already seen in strings. There is a count function that also we have seen. Then there is an index which will tell the first occurrence of the item. There is an append. See, append will be able to add the item at the end of the list. For example, you have list with 1, 2, 3 and now you are doing list 1 dot append 5 so it will append at the last 
right? Then we have insert. You can also tell to insert a specific index. For example, list one dot insert and index three and value will be ten, right? We can also extend to another list. Means for example, you have list one and you have list two. You can just do list two dot extend list one. So that way. Your first list and second list will be added together. You can also remove using remove method. You can also remove using remove method. You can pop the last element of the list using pop method. This is important. Here, just using pop, it is only taking the last element out of the list. Reverse will directly reverse the order of elements. Sort will sort you a list. For example, you have a list of one, five, seven, and nine. And then we have eight three. So whenever you are doing list dot sort, it will just sort it out in one, three, five, seven, and so on, right? So sort function is used, and clear is used to remove the all elements from the list. So that is it from the list. We will see them in Jupyter Notebook. So here, uh, the example is, I have created a list one and stored all those values, and then I am printing this list one. Now here I am just taking the input. And then I am just doing certain operations, right? So whatever the inputs I wanted to view, so it should be comma separated. Then, right? Whenever you are giving inputs, it is taking those, converting to the list. We can convert. Uh, we can perform certain operations. We also have a range functions. This also we have seen using indexes and slicing operations. I'm just printing them, and then we have a different operations like length function, count function, index function, append function, insert function. Whenever I will just do shift enter, and all of those outputs will be there. See all the examples that we have seen. We are inserting one at index one. String is inserted at index zero, one thousand is inserted. Append will just do new at the last. Here you can see new at the last, and then also we can remove this particular element directly saying a remove method. Whenever you are listing the pop, means last element will be popped out. See one two three fourth, one two three fourth. So last element is new. So new one is removed. Similarly, you can reverse it, sort it, and clear it. Whenever you are clearing, it will be empty. That is it from the list. We will see uh, different data types like tuple in next chapter. Thank you.